Good morning. It is Saturday. And I got pulled to the orange. I got pulled to the orange. All right. <clears throat> huh. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Five of pence. I'm getting moving forward. Um, Empress. Turn you up. I had it down last night when I was watching a movie. I, I just got moving on. Someone lives in Italy. Good for you. Good for you. King of Wands, and it's, it's ironic, I, I forgot this deck actually has the kings on horses, and, and it's moving, so like, take an action. She's focused on, well, I don't know, strange, strange. Um, five of pence usually speaks of you're either stressing out over finances with the empress being there, but I don't feel it that way. I feel it more like moving forward. It could be lack of comfort. Um, sometimes it's misery loves company. But now we have the six of pence and the ten of pence. So, I'm actually going to move these up and clarify. So, this is you in a masculine setting a foundation, a soulmate. Whether it's a friend, a lover, it is something among those lines. Can you grab me my purse for your friend? Thank you. Um, <clears throat> I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, something among those lines. <clears throat> But today, <clears throat> Saturday, <sighs> hmm. it's almost like you guys aren't together. Unless you're going towards a solid foundation. But he's not looking in that direction. So it, it's like... It's the energy where someone's all up in your energy, vice versa. You're feeling someone's energy. Tell me about the five of pence. Because <clears throat> no lonely cards are coming out. No sorrow cards are coming out. No, you know, this just talks about a foundation. The empress might be moving. Prince of Swords. So, and the song just came on as No Woman, No Cry. But then I just looked over and it switched instantly to Police and Helicopter. So, <clears throat> so this is not the Empress's energy. Is someone who's watching the Empress. See what I'm saying? This is it's so bizarre how these reads have been coming out lately like this. Like this is how the reads have been coming out. So when you guys watch other readers, make sure you're aware of that. So this is the an air sign watching a Taurus. Your propensity and Empress. You could be dealing with um I'm hearing a politician, but 
a man in uniform, a police officer. It, it's the song that's on. <clears throat> um, and then, like, when I briefly looked, I, I saw, like, a badge. But regardless whether you are or not, it's, it's kind of irrelevant. It's just... It's like burn down the playing field, too. <clears throat> so, this king is not burning nothing anymore. They're moving forward. So, this is, like, again, I almost went to the same thing again. Thoughts of a masculine. Diary of a masculine. So, I don't know what's up with that. Like, I don't know if you're writing a book, if you're journaling. Like, I don't know what you're up to. Um... But they're feeling left out, uncomfortable. They obviously, it looks like they might even be walking away from an empress. But to me, they're, they're still watching. So I don't know however it relates to you. Tell me about the empress. So I don't even know if you're the empress or not. Oh, see, I don't know. Princess of Pence now. The empress, empress does not go to a princess. You might have a child right now that's kind of... You could have kids. Well, obviously some of you have kids, right? But like... Because the Prince of Swords is the King of Wands. And this is two different women. <clears throat> you wouldn't, someone wouldn't come in as the Empress and go and then go to a princess. So even if you're dealing with adults, okay, and they're both the same age, it doesn't matter. One's in the energy of a fresh new start and someone's in the energy of settled. And the Prince of Swords looks like he's looking more at the Empress. And it's like walking away from his foundation. But he's still not going towards her. But still looking in that direction. So this is someone's thoughts. Ring the alarm. about the king of wands it's like he's turning his back to both women tower there you go he it's like he either has to turn his back to both women I, I, I don't know why it's like the tower twice it's like crashing down one foundation but when he left well, he, something happens. When he left, oh, he's thinking about leaving. He's, he's thinking about being out real quick and going right towards a, someone else. So it could have ended between two people. Say you have one gentleman, there was two women. He He's leaving them both. He could be going in a whole new direction towards nobody. But this is it's, going to crash down on him, his foundation. I got the ten of pants. Yep, there you go, five of swords. This is <clears throat> everyone loses exactly what I just said. Everyone's out of the picture. If there was a three people, everyone loses. Everyone's at a loss right now. I think he's trying to forget about a soulmate here. 
that's what it looks like. Something's going to end. <clears throat> Tell me about the Six of Cups. Um, now, if we're going to talk about finances real quick, it looks like if you already had a new business, you could be switching it all up for a new thought or a new position within the work front, you know, something like that, because that could be you starting something new. Ooh, here we go with these fives again, 55. Strong, strong numbers for you guys in the last two days. But that's a fresh start. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> All right. Got all this channeling going on. I just know the 55 is a positive omen. It represents a powerful change. You know what I mean? And with the tower being right next to it, that's the power. It's usually a choice already made. It's like confirmation of a choice already made. Let's see. Let's look it up. Spiritual meaning of the 55. Okay, it's a very... Okay, angel number 55 is a positive omen and appears in your life. It's a powerful, great... It's a signal of great new powerful changes to come. It's also considered a Swiss Army Angel number. Its most basic meaning is as confirmation as choices already made. Okay, so it indicates indicates a welcome life change. It's a sign of transformation, exciting new adventures, chances for new experiences, new opportunities. <clears throat> Let me just open this one. It's, it's asking you to take the old shackles off. Any any restraints. Be prepared for a huge change when this appears. It's like a break free. Okay, so... Everyone could lose in this situation. <clears throat> the tower had to come down, though. You know... Whether or not he goes towards one of them or not, it, it's it's irrelevant at this point. It's like he knows he needs a new foundation, whether there's anybody with him or not. And it is ready for some. Leaving a situation, leaving a foundation, leaving a household. Could even just be getting his mind straight. Tell me about the king of. What can I do that actually? Tell me about what do I want to know. What do I? How about any additional messages? So within 24 hours, we have um, the 55s, but we have the nine of wands it's fighting for something. I also see, that reminds me of like the phoenix, the rise of the phoenix and the wheel. All right, so there's there's that great change, and there's also karmic justice here. It, it's like in it's like something wasn't something wasn't moving, but something couldn't move because there was karma that needed to be cleaned cleared up between two people. Actually, it looks like three people with the wheel here. Um. And karma needed to be cleaned up. It looks like it's still being cleaned up, though. Mm. 
Okay. So. Anything else? So hang in there if you're one of these people, okay? Got the seven of cups, but it's like you, the the ships are here. There's some type of offer. I know it's the seven, right? But look at the cups are on the. It's like printed on the, the main. What do you call those? Um, the sails. Uh, I know there's a word, but. And then you got the four cups here. Ships are here, docked. This person already knows. It's exactly like the confirmation we just got with the 55. It is, you already know change was necessary. Something within those lines. Got the hierophant at the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to put the Seven of Cups real quick. Someone's dreaming, because that song just came to me. When I dream about you. Seems to be uh, in another four. Um, to me, this just representing something pure here. Laying a new foundation. Um, when I dream about you again. So somebody's dreaming about someone. Could be something with past lives with the Six of Cups here. Um, but if you're dreaming, you're dreaming about past lives. Something about your future, too. It's the wheels here. It's not, it wouldn't be, con it's not anything confusing. Um, <clears throat> Seven of Pentacles, Strength, kind of Two of Swords. So, someone wants to call a truce. You could be dealing with a Leo, but... You've already invested time into someone. It looks like the king or you guys, whoever it is, you already invested time in a situation. And, and again, it looks like decision is made or decision is going to be made. Swords are lying down. They're not upright. upright. It's, it's like truce energy. So it's actually very positive. Okay. Even though it looks like chaos right now for sure. But um, it brings, I, the word I'm getting is um, great, um, great change, no, great Scots, no, um, great, it reminds me of the great outdoors, what a great movie, right? But great, it brings great something, is what I was hearing, great, I don't know. So look at this too as if this is your thoughts or is it their thoughts, right? Because if you're not thinking any of this, then it's their thoughts. But if there's plenty of women waiting for things to change or whatever's happening in your life, these could very well be your thoughts, you know? It really just depends on your scenario, you know? You know what I mean, jelly beans? All right. There's a deeper reason for each and every one of your questions that you seek right now. Guidance, attention, help, but always love. Don't ever criticize. The question is, what is it you give others, if anything at all? So there's a deeper reason why everything's happening. So somebody's really questioning. They're still in the questioning stage. Even though the decisions and things are coming, you know, it's... They know there's a deeper reason for something. Let me get one more.
just don't criticize yourself or anyone else, but, you know, what are you putting into something, if anything at all? You glow. We beam. This card's never come out. In case anyone should ask, your heart isn't so large because of your wings. It's your wings that are large because of your heart. Loving so much. In case anyone should ask, your heart isn't so large because of your wings. It's your wings that are large because of your heart. Sometimes loving so much can be pretty heavy. Yeah, Whew. I felt that for a second. Um, you glow, we beam. Going after something. Like, whatever it is, it's like, Something about what's that expression? Um, about your balls. Um, <laughs> it's like grabbing, grabbing something. It's like a manly expression. It's not that grab the bowl by its horns, it's not growing balls. I'm not trying to say something like that. Um, son of a bitch. Oops. Sorry. I don't know. But the bottom of the deck, love is the reason. Regardless, there's great change here. Oh, great Scott. That's what I think I was trying to say. Great Scott. It's not from a movie. Pretty sure it is. Um, so, just be prepared for huge changes. Okay. I think that's great. I love you guys. I'll see you later, Gators. Bye.